Good morning. I'm Kristen Wagner, and I had the privilege of arguing on behalf of Lori Smith and 303 Creative, a graphic artist and a website designer. And it was such a privilege to go before the Supreme Court to represent Lori. Today, after enduring seven years of government censorship, the United States Supreme Court ruled in Lori's favor and upheld free speech. The court held that the First Amendment prevents Colorado from forcing Lori to say a government message that she doesn't believe and that the government cannot misuse the law to eliminate ideas it dislikes from the public square. The Supreme Court agreed that Lori works with everyone, including those who identify as LGBT, and her decisions to create speech always turn on what the message is, not who requests it. Lori is now free to speak and to create consistent with the core of who she is. This is a landmark victory for all Americans, regardless of one's beliefs, as the court today noted, it has long held that the opportunity to think for ourselves and to express those thoughts freely is among our most cherished liberties and part of what keeps our republic strong. The First Amendment's promise of free speech extends to everyone on all sides of any debate. The government should no more force Lori to speak against her beliefs about marriage than an LGBT website designer to speak contrary to her beliefs. Neither should a Muslim cake artist be forced to create a custom cake with a message criticizing Islam. A pro-abortion filmmaker should not have to make a documentary that advances or promotes the pro-life movement. And a democratic speechwriter certainly shouldn't have to write a speech promoting a Republican candidate. The same principle also applies to ADF's other clients, such as Jack Phillips, Emily Carpenter, Chelsea Nelson, and Bob Updegrove. These cases are pending in the courts of appeals right now across the country. Today's decision ensures that no government official can punish an American with jail time, six-figure penalties, and any other penalties for speaking consistent with their beliefs. Today's decision affirmed that states like Colorado cannot eliminate beliefs they dislike from the public square. People like Lori, who believe that marriage is a unique relationship between a husband and a wife, should not be bullied, persecuted, or banished from the public square for peacefully living and speaking out that belief. A belief that is held by millions of people from all walks of life, all races, diverse faith traditions, and no faith at all. Even people who reject Lori's beliefs about marriage should stand with her because they too might be the ones who face censorship when political or cultural winds shift. The court's rejection of government censorship protects and promotes pluralism. A society where all Americans are welcome to engage in public life and can say what they believe, even if their beliefs are disfavored by their government. As the court held today, the freedom to think and speak is among our inalienable human rights. By allowing all views to flourish, the framers understood we may test and improve our own thinking, both as individuals and as a nation. You may hear attempts today to misconstrue this important victory for all Americans in the days ahead as well. So let me be very clear. Public accommodation laws have coexisted with First Amendment rights for years. Government officials have never needed to compel speech to ensure people are not denied access to goods and services. But it's been in recent years that government officials have sought to misuse these laws, stretching them beyond recognition. And in doing so, they're censoring speech they dislike by falsely labeling it as discrimination. But the government can't label speech as discrimination in order to censor it. The court's decision means that states will ensure no one is forced to say something that they don't believe, while also ensuring that no one is denied goods and services. America's commitment to free speech has enabled some of our most significant social progress, from abolishing slavery to advancing women's rights to votes, to even passing the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Those movements flourished because our nation refused, absolutely refused to silence or coerce people. Without the freedom to speak, we shut our diverse views, shut down meaningful debate, and we stop the conditions that are required for progress. Today's decision affirmed these important principles and the court expressly said, tolerance, not coercion, is our nation's answer. The First Amendment envisions 
the United States as a rich and complex place where all persons are free to speak and to think as they wish, not as the government demands. So I hope that everyone celebrates today's decision because it upholds a fundamental right to say what you believe without fear of government punishment. And that's a win for all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kristen. Uh, next, we'll hear from the owner of, of 303 Creative, Lori Smith. Lori, the floor is yours. Well, good morning. My name is Lori Smith, and I'm a graphic and website designer. I own 303 Creative in Denver, Colorado. Today, I am incredibly grateful for the US Supreme Court's ruling today that says that I'm free to create custom designs consistent with my beliefs without the fear of Colorado punishing me. This is a victory not just for me, but for all of us. Whether you share my beliefs or completely disagree with them, free speech is for everyone. The government should not force anyone to say something we don't believe. And the court's decision means that we are all more free today than we were yesterday. We can think, create, imagine, and speak consistent with the core of who we are. Years ago, I left the corporate design world to start my own art studio because I wanted to promote causes that are close to my heart. I love creating custom artwork for overseas missions, homeless ministries, animal rescue shelters, and organizations for veterans who have selflessly sacrificed to defend, to defend our country. I love people and I create custom artwork for everyone, including those who identify as LGBT. For me, it's never about the who, it's about the what. When considering a potential project, I always look at the message being requested, never the person requesting it. My canvas is on paper, sometimes pixels, and I cherish the freedom to craft messages and celebrate things that I'm passionate about. I was, expanded to, I was excited to expand my portfolio to design custom wedding websites celebrating marriage between a husband and a wife. But the state of Colorado told me that I couldn't speak consistent with my beliefs and I had to create custom artwork that conflicts with the core of who I am. Colorado wanted to punish me for my speech even though it agreed that I, like most artists, always choose my projects based on the message, never the person requesting requesting the message. So I stood for freedom and I challenged Colorado's injustice. It has been a long and difficult seven year journey. One where I've had to face harassment, constant hacking attempts, and even death threats. But the Supreme Court's ruling today corrects that injustice. Excuse me. I'm so very grateful to the United States Supreme Court, who affirmed today that Colorado can't force me or anyone to say something we don't believe. This is a victory for all Americans across our great country. Whether you share my beliefs or hold different beliefs, whether you're an LGBT graphic designer, a Jewish calligrapher, a Democrat speechwriter, or a pro-life photographer, the government shouldn't force anyone to say something they don't believe. I know that if we want freedom for ourselves, we must defend it for others. This belief and my faith have inspired me to persevere over these last several years. We will not always agree with one another and that's okay, but civility and respect for one another is necessary for a peaceful society. Today, I sincerely hope, regardless of what people think of me or my beliefs, that all Americans will rejoice that the court upheld the right to speak freely for all of us. Thank you.